All right, we're going to go into some more advanced lofting here. This is Professor Triplett, and let's go ahead and get into an orthographic view. I'll look at the front, that'll work. Turn our grid on, and you know what? Change my mind, let's do the top. So let's make a circle here, and I'll go ahead and scale it up to 10 just to see it better. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring out my CV curve tool and I'm going to have it set to one linear and I'm going to have my uh, grid snap on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a square and we're going to loft a square and a circle together. Okay, so you know what, before I do this, let me go ahead and talk about one thing. Um, I'm going to see where my uh, circle is uh, is uh, my curve on my circle is going towards. So right now you can see there's this is box is the origin of the curve and then this U shows that the uh, from the view we're looking at this is going counterclockwise. Okay that's going to be important when we're creating our curve to make sure that these curves match up with each other. So let's go back into creating our curve and what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to start my box over here and then go in this direction, the same direction as this. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to click there, click there, there, and there. Um, when you're creating other things like polygons, you won't have to worry about the direction of uh, curves or anything like that, but um, for for these you do. so. All right, let's go ahead and select these two, and we're going to go ahead and loft them. And we're going to see that we are still getting, uh, we're not getting these things matching up perfect. Um, let me go ahead and go to surfaces, reverse direction, so we can see this kind of the right way. So um, obviously what we want is kind of like our creased edges to come to here and here so that we don't get this kind of weird spiraling uh, going on. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, move this over a little bit so we can talk about why this is happening. Um, now, I tried best practices to make sure that the origin for these two objects was working. Uh, as you can see, and we have our origin there. We have our origin here, and then here's the U. Um, but for whatever reason, Maya is not able to um, solve this. So the answer that I found to fix something like this is uh, you have to kind of look at the turns and see how far uh, you have to rotate the circle uh, to to fix this. So um, basically, uh, you have um, this mark here. Uh, really you would want like over here and for these to connect. So uh, if we look at that as the, the whole circle uh, angles uh, or I should say um, rotation that would actually be 45 degrees. So if I come over to here and go into my uh, you can see what's going on right here. So I'm going in and, and turning my uh, circle and you can see this thing is fixing itself. So let's go ahead and just really dial in 45 like so. And now we have a nice clean object where we have like a circle going to a square shape. And that's something that's a little tricky to model. So uh, doing it with a loft uh, really does help. And as you can see that was a nice little trick just to move this off to the side and then rotate this and, and see where it ends up. Okay so um, if we want to turn this into a polygon, because eventually we're going to be using polygons, the way to do this, if you've already got the surface made, is go to Modify and Convert. And there's a NURBS to Polys right here. You can hit the option box. And um, this is one of those cases where standard fit usually works best. I usually use the general and quads. Um, but for this particular case, uh, the standard fit usually works best. Um, and I'm not sure 
uh, why the uh, general quads can't uh, solve it, but it doesn't typically do such a good job. You could always check it out if you, you don't believe me. So let me go ahead and move this over so now we can see what we got there. Now we still have a few artifacts going on with how this is working um, because uh, it didn't solve all these problems. But since um, we can go into our top view and see that um, we've got a good portion of it that looks right, we could always delete out the bad parts and uh, let's see here. I actually want to go to the bottom view. Well, for right now, it's okay. Let's just let's just look at it like this. Um, we could basically um, get rid of these parts with the empty uh, areas, and then we would just mirror this over, which is something we'll talk about later. But um, that's how you would convert this to polygons. And if you play with these settings, you might actually get um, some some solution that works a little bit better. Um, you know, maybe something like that, which actually does look like it just, it fixed it. It fixed the problems that it was happen, happening before. Let's move that over. Yep, that looks a lot cleaner. So, there you go. That's about it.